Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be taking a look at this brand new 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor. This particular Raptor is finished in azure gray metallic, which is actually a brand new color for Ford entirely for 2023. And this is our very first vehicle uh, that we've actually received that has azure gray. Uh, beautiful color, similar to sort of Area 51, uh, but it does have a little more of a metallic uh, color. This is a tri-coat color, so it does have a beautiful metallic flake to it. And this is a cost option um, for any Ford vehicle, and that includes the Raptor. Uh, we'll all take a quick walk around the uh, the outside of this particular one, where we do have the, of course, the Ford spelled out there in the grill with the front view camera system. Beautiful LED design here with the headlights. And of course, these are adaptive, uh, which is standard across the 2023 Raptors. Um, so they do have the adaptive, so they move with the steering wheel. Uh, they're phenomenal and they do look super, super cool, especially with the amber uh, sort of LED that goes across the, uh, the top of the grill there as well. Nice off-road bumper here, which also has the front parking sensors. And we do have the rigid LED off-road lights here in the bumper. Of course, full underbody skid plate protection. This particular Raptor here does have the 37 performance package, which does include these massive 37 inch tires. Uh, it's actually the first time a 37 inch tire has been mounted to a production vehicle. Uh, so this is the first time you'll ever see it. And it does sit on a 17 inch beadlock capable wheel and new for 2023 for actually change the color of these wheels. They're more of like a black color before they were sort of like a gray, uh, sort of dark gray. Now they're black, nice satin black here. And I think it looks fantastic, especially with the, uh, the Azure gray paint. Of course it is wrapped in a BF Goodrich KO2 tire. Very well known, uh, very popular tire. Fantastic off-road and also on-road as well. And it does sit on the Fox Live valve suspension. There's an active suspension or se semi-active, so you can change the, uh, the modes of it, the stiffness and everything uh, through the buttons that are inside on the, uh, on the steering wheel. Nice body colored mirrors here, and it does include the side view camera as well as the mirror spotlight there. And of course it does have your little blind spot indicator in the corner. I'll give you a look at the, uh, the window sticker for this particular Raptor here. As of course we do have all of your sort of info up here. This is your gray metallic tricoat. And here are some of the options that this particular one has. Uh, quite a lot, this one is pretty optioned out, uh, basically as high as you can go. But there's that 37 performance package. Just in price, brings the price to uh, just under 121,000 uh, Canadian dollars. These are Canadian pricing here. Unfortunately, 2023 Raptors have seen a little bit of a price increase. Um, so it's a little more expensive than last year, but uh, I guess you kind of get what you pay for for the Raptors. These are truly uh, incredible vehicles. Uh, but with the 37 package, we do have the graphics as well. So you have this on either side of the box there. And again, massive 37 inch tires. And there's a look at the rear suspension. Unique to the Raptor, it uses a five link rear suspension, which is different from a regular uh, sort of F-150, which uses a leaf spring setup. You got a nice LED design here with the tail light. And if we come around to the back end here, massive dual exhaust, which is also valved. Uh, so you can change the sort of loudness of it through the settings inside. Nice rear tow hooks here as well. And we do also have, of course, your rear view camera. This one does have the power tailgate option. So it does go up and down power operated. And it does include the tailgate step here uh, with the work surface. Now, I guess one of the options that we're missing on this particular Raptor is the two kilowatt pro power on board system. Uh, but we do still have a 400 watt inverter outlet back here. Uh, so you can plug in a bunch of stuff with that outlet. Of course, we have LED box lighting and lots and lots of tie down points. And if we take a look into the interior of this F-150 Raptor, we do have the blue interior package. Uh, we just include these Recaro branded seats here. Uh, so completely unique to the Raptor. It has this sort of suede, sort of Alcantara material here on sort of the face of the bucket here. Kind of keeps you in place a little more when you're going around corners. Of course, you do have your Raptor logo there up top. Accent stitching all throughout here. Not only on the seats, but it's kind of scattered throughout the entire interior. These seats are both heated and cooled. Again, very comfortable, of course. Uh, good for both longer road trips. And again, this is the upgraded seat. They're a little more heavily bolstered, uh, but they're not like over bolstered. They're definitely very, very comfortable. And again, on the door panel, nice soft touch leather all throughout here. Again, there's your sort of accent stitching. We do have the carbon fiber package, uh, which is included with that. So we do have carbon fiber here on the door and it's kind of scattered throughout again on your dash, some of your uh, consoles as well. Three-way memory. It not only works for the seats, but also the four-way power adjustable steering wheel. 
Uh, so this goes up and down, in and out, all that. And also the power adjustable pedals. Everything works with a memory, uh, so that's super convenient. There's the Bang & Olufsen sound system. 18 speakers, over 1,000 watts of power. This is a phenomenal sound system. Uh, well, Ford did a great job partnering with b on that system there. We do have the Raptor off-road running boards, which you'll definitely need because this is quite a tall truck. Uh, but if we step inside here, take a look at the key. Uh, we do have the same key basically as any other Ford, but we do have the Raptor logo there on the back. It does include, uh, of course, include remote start as well as the tailgate release on there and push button start. And powering this F-150 Raptor is the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. High output makes 450 horsepower and 510 foot-pounds of torque. Of course, there is the upcoming Raptor R, uh, which we should receive shortly. Um, but of course, we'll certainly do a video on one of those as soon as we get one in, which uh, the Raptor R does use a 5.2 liter supercharged V8 with 700 horsepower. Um, so that's definitely a very exclusive vehicle. But for now, we have the EcoBoost version right here. But again, 450 horsepower, over 500 foot-pounds of torque, monstrous power numbers. These trucks are uh, really, really quick considering their, their size, um, but it is paired to a 10-speed automatic right here, and of course is four-wheel drive down there. We do get a nice leather-wrapped steering wheel, which has the sort of red 12 o'clock position, as well as that accent st uh, stitching on there. Uh, we do have adaptive cruise control with the lane centering, so this Raptor basically drives itself. We also have all your volume buttons down here. Uh, of course, we do have a fully digital gauge cluster, which gives you all of your trip and fuel information, Raptor info, towing settings, all your various settings in there. A very configurable gauge cluster. And there's all of your modes. So you have steering, suspension, and exhaust modes. Uh, so you can control those individually, or you can also control those through the drive modes. So you can use this dialer right here, and it will sort of automatically adjust uh, all of those based on each specific drive mode. And you can also set your own mode with this R button here on the side, uh, which is called the Raptor My Mode. Uh, so you can kind of change those. So if you want the steering in comfort, but of course you want the loud exhaust, uh, you can do that. And then you can push one button, one push of a button, and it'll uh, it'll kind of set it and forget it. Uh, you won't have to do it again. But kind of cool. You can adjust everything with the uh, with the new Raptors here. You also have Ford's Sync 4 12-inch display which is standard with the Raptors. You have navigation right here, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that right there. You also have all your various driver assistance features, trail turn assist, zone lighting, all your towing stuff in here. Of course, we do have the 360 camera. Uh, so you can click that and sort of cycle through a bunch of different views uh, via the uh, toggles up here, trail control up top as well. And of course, Raptors are four wheel drive. And you also get that four automatic setting right there locking rear differential with a torts and limited slip front differential. Uh, so you have loads of traction, especially with those massive 37 inch tires. Here's your climate control system. Again, heated and cooled seats right here with a wireless charging pad, USB, all of that. Of course, these Raptors are fully, fully loaded model. You get every feature you can possibly imagine in these things. Interior work surface, so you can fold the shifter down and you know you do have a nice uh, sort of flat surface here. You can fold the console the other way and I have a nice surface here. You can throw a lunch on here. You can throw a laptop on here, do some work. So that is standard with the Raptors now. We also have sort of that same outlet like we have in the bed, uh, that household style outlet right there, and also a 12 volt connector. And there's some more of that carbon fiber up on the dash. Of course, lots of storage, just like a regular F-150. There's also more carbon fiber right here. And we'll quickly look up top here. We do have six auxiliary switches. Uh, so these are pre-wired, uh, so pre-powered, uh, so you can run a light bar, you can run a winch, whatever you got to do uh, off those. So you don't have to drill some like ugly dash, especially into your carbon fiber. And wouldn't want to do that. Uh, so Ford puts these up here, nice good looking switches. And we do have the panoramic twin panel moonroof. Uh, so you have controls for that right up there. And we'll quickly take a look into the rear seat of this Raptor. Now they're only offered as the Super Crew. Uh, so this is the only configuration you can get. Super Crew with the short five and a half foot bed. Um, but again, with the blue interior package, you do have these nice bucket seats back here. They're not quite as heavily bolstered as the front, but you do still have that Alcantara sort of suede material back here. Of course, finished in that nice blue color, but we can fold these up. Uh, so we do have a nice flat load surface back here. We also have the lockable storage, uh, which is currently in its up position, but you can fold this flat. Uh, so you have a nice flat load surface. You can throw some tools back here. You can throw your dog back here, whatever you gotta do. Uh, so super cool that the uh, lockable storage is back here as well. We also have rubber floor mats to go with this particular Raptor. And these seats back here are also heated. 
Uh, so we do have heated seats back here. We also have our third and final, uh, one of those sort of household style outlets, USB and 12 volt. Uh, so you can keep everything charged up and no problem at all. And of course, we get a nice view of that panoramic sunroof. So if you're interested in this particular F-150 Raptor, it is for sale here at McPhee Ford, alongside many other Raptors models just like this. So if you're interested, feel free to give us a call, or you can visit us at mcpheeford.com. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.